Thanks everybody for coming. For Cortland State, we have Coach Brown along with Bobby Ricci and starting pitcher Alex Weingarten. Coach, you want to make any opening remarks before we begin with questions? That game started off kind of like the regionals did. Um, we got down a little bit. We were fighting with each other in the dugout, you know, yelling and screaming at each other because we just very ultra competitive and uh, that has a tendency to bring some special things out in us. And, and it, and it did. Uh, I give their left-handed pitcher some credit. He had us early in the game, and we were kind of not sticking with a game plan and got outside a little bit. I think four, five, six of our first 12 outs might have been fly ball outs, which is not us. Um, but then we had that big inning with some quality of bats and just hit after hit after hit, and that's good to see, especially after a day off. Well, you talk about your day. Um, you know, you had a triple and a double in that beginning. What do you think it was happening? Um, what was the change um, that the team went through? Honestly, uh, I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> he, lo he lost an ounce. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nah, I was just seeing the ball very well today. Uh, I've been facing a lot of lefties all year. And... Uh, and I was just waiting for a fastball and was fighting that at bat. And I'm just happy that I was the one today that, that started the party, you know? And uh, hey, tomorrow it's going to be someone else. And the next day it's going to be someone else, too. I'm just I'm happy it was me today. You had a rough outing in one of the innings, uh, but you were under control. What was, what was working for you? Just keeping the other batters off balance the whole game. Working both sides of the plate and make sure my off speed for strikes. I, I thought he actually <clears throat> competed through that inning where some some turmoil. It could have been a worse inning. It could have been a four or five run inning, which could have could have hurt us pretty good. And he made some quality pitches to get out of that inning. And uh, I think that was a big key in this game. Was is three runs is good, but four or five is even worse. And uh, I thought he made you know he's. Alex has been in some, some pressure. He had his previous institution, he pitched in conference tournaments, pitched in NCAA tournaments. He has, uh, I on occasion think his confidence outweighs his stuff on occasion. Um, but it's uh, it's good to see at this moment. Um, it might have been an earlier um, game. I can't remember who said it, but they said once they see a second pitcher come in, they want to sit there and they want to treat him the same. They want to keep hitting. Um, was that the mindset that went through with the team? Absolutely. Keep, keep the pedal down. Uh, you know, the best thing I think a coach can do at this juncture of the season is almost stay out of the way. And sometimes we have a tendency, I know I do, to either overcoach or overanalyze and let the boys play. They're doing a pretty good job and they're having great quality at bats. Um, you know, Fabio has had a part-time role at, at the beginning of the year. And, you know, we, have to, we ask a lot of our kids. We have a lot of depth. We ask our kids and we say at the beginning of the year, would you take 45, 50, 60 at bats if your team can be playing in the World Series. And we ask them that, and you can look at our statistics. It, it proves out to be that way, um, that six, 17, 18 different young men have double-figure RBIs, run scores, and hits. And that's important. You know, we have a, we have, we have a few injuries. This young man stepped in, and he's, he's done a phenomenal job. He's a good player. Um, now, now, you're looking forward in the championship series, the best what, of three. Yeah, whoever we're going to play is going to be a very good baseball team. So. You got to play good baseball. Um, we're, I'd like to think we're very well set with our pitching uh, because we've got two complete games, which I think is a rarity out here sometimes. Uh, and then we only used one reliever the first game. So our pitching is intact. We have a, a, a very cagey veteran that has a very good chance of pitching the next game. Um, and so we're excited. We're confident. That one of the, your goals at the beginning of the year is to play in the last day of the season. We get that opportunity. So wherever the chips fall, they'll fall. Alex, talk about your mindset. Again, coming from a school where you were the ace and now pitching on the third day. I mean, I, I assume you would make that trade every day. <laughs> oh, I'll take it for a championship. <laughs> but uh, definitely great leaders. Uh, Brandon and Brandon leading me since day one. Uh, it's really it. They helped me get my mindset and just learning from what they've been doing the whole year. Ultra competitive in our pitching staff. I think any of them want the ball day one, but any of them will take it day four.
and and that's what's been very unselfish. We've moved around our conference uh, tournament rotation, our regional tournament rotation, World Series rotation based upon matchups in health. Um, but you know, I give a lot of credit. These guys are working hard, and and they're rested. You know, we don't have a kid near 60 innings yet. That's why you can go nine innings of pressure. Uh, no, everybody is available right now. We've had a couple young men that uh, we I chose to keep out of the game and put healthy guys in. Um, but I think at this juncture, um, I think we're full squad. We're, we're a full 25, and and we'll, I, other than maybe him, you know. So, but I'll bet you he'll tell me he can throw tomorrow. So, <laughs> I think at this juncture, everyone's available to throw, and then everyone says I'm not throwing until next fall. So, coach, I'm okay. Yeah. Biggest inning of the ball game. You score 10, 11 runs, and this game is long from over, uh, folks. And I, you know, I, I've been in a game uh, many years ago in an NCAA regional where we had a 10-1 lead in the sixth inning, and we lost. Um, and I've been there, and I've been on both sides, and that's why it was important um, to keep scoring. And I don't think that's in any way disrespectful. Uh, you play the game. You've played 200 and something odd days to get here. You're going to keep playing the game. And, and people have the opportunity to stop you. Um, so we just keep playing the game. And the game knows. Game knows. The game knows how you're treating it. Shout out Tony Simon. <laughs>